What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we have some news uh, pertaining to the upcoming co-op Kizuna. Now since this news has come out I've been getting a bunch of messages about how the event works so in today's video I'm hopefully going to be able to break it down for you guys so you guys can comprehend what's going on. Um, I already have joined a team. My team is already formulated. If you guys are following me on Twitter you guys would have seen the members of my team. I can quickly go through them for you guys in this video today as well um, but there was also further clarification on the upcoming sugo fest so obviously i've made a video about this before uh make sure you go check it out if you want more details about it but we did get further clarification that the nami luffy and brook come with max sockets which is good really good to see um, and additionally, the East Blue Straw Hats that were available from Part 3 of the French Anisuga are all returning. So Luffy, Zoro, Nami, uh, Usopp, and Sanji. All those East Blue Rare Recruit Straw Hats are going to be in this Sugo Fest as well. And it does mention that Sugo Fest exclusive characters from Kizuna Clash Sugos. Um, so the Kizuna, Chopper, Monet, and Akainu from previous Kizuna Clashes are all going to be available to be summoned in this banner as well, right? Um, so this banner is going live on... August 12th at 1900 PST time, which is when the treasure map ends. Now, currently, right now, this is the time where you need to be building your Kizuna team. So we'll kind of go through in this video what we mean by building a team in Kizuna, because that's something that's never before seen, right? On Global, anyway. Co-op Kizuna, this is the new game mode that's coming out. So let's read through this information post. We'll check out the website, and you guys should hopefully get a bit more information as to what this event is actually talking about. So the Co-op Kizuna, there's two separate halves. There is a first half and second half. So the first part of the event is from August 15th until August 17th, and then the second half is from the 19th until the 21st. So you've got uh, 48 hours of play, then you've got a break for 48 hours, and then you have another 48 hours of play in the Kizuna. Now, when the second half returns, it doesn't reset back to level 1. Whatever level you finished at in the first half will continue on in the second half. Now, because this is a cooperative event and it's, uh, it's a more competitive event of Kizuna, Kizuna Clash, um, the scaling for the HP is much less. I believe at level 100, the boss has 40 million HP. So that goes to show, right, that the scaling is much lower. I believe the boss starts at 5.5 mil, and he goes up to 40 mil at level 100, and then I think one... Level 150 is like about level... Like I think I think that's about 100 mil at 150. I don't remember exactly, but either way, the scaling is a lot lower compared to previous Kizunas. Now, we don't know if that's going to be different for global. We don't know yet. Let's continue on with the post. A special French version 5th anniversary Kizuna Clash. Moria from Thriller Bark is here. He's actually a really good unit, by the way. When I do upload my eventual video with my teams, I'll do a free-to-play set of teams as well. Well, I'll, at least I'll hopefully provide you guys with free-to-play teams for the upcoming Kizuna Clash. Um, I'll talk about what the Moria does in that video, but he is a pretty good unit. Uh, this time, there are two new ways to play the Kizuna. Make sure to check them out as they have great rewards, so we'll check the, the information post and the website very soon. So work together to defeat Moria on the event side. So not only is there a competitive event against other players and teams, there is also a community event for all players to take part in. So it says defeat Moria in the Kizuna Clash to get co-op points equivalent to the HP of the Moria defeated. Earn many co-op points with everyone to deal damage to Moria on the event side. And we'll go through all that in a minute. Uh, team up with other players. So this is the big portion of the Kizuna here. This is the competitive style event. On the event side, you can freely form a team of up to 10 user. Well, it says 10 other users. That's incorrect. It's actually 10 users, including yourself. So it's actually nine other players, and then yourself included would be the 10th member. You can create a team yourself or join an existing one, or even use auto join to automatically be matched up with other people close to your pirate level. So that's very, very interesting. So even if you can't get into contact with other players to form a team yourself, either through the subreddit, through discord servers, Facebook, Twitter, there's plenty of social media platforms where you can contact other people, people you follow on Twitter or Facebook or on the Reddit. You can talk to a lot of people. I know that there's on discord, there's a lot Lots of discussions about building teams in the comment section of this video if you need uh, you know help making a team uh, make sure to get commenting in the in the comment section of this video here to get your team sorted um, so obviously you can do that but if you can't contact other people you can still auto join uh, which will put you up with other people close to your pirate level which I think is a good idea right because if you're matched up with like a rerolled account or a level 100 account and you're level 600 
there's a bit of a discrepancy there and you don't want to have a situation where one player is just ultimately carrying a bunch of lower leveled players no you want to be matched up with other people that are very similar to you and yes if you are lower leveled it's not as good for you of course but it definitely is the balanced way to do things in my opinion so again, we'll talk about creating teams uh, in a little bit, right? Uh, clear missions, like number of times Kizuna Clash is cleared and number of times assist quests are cleared as well. Again, we'll talk about it once we get to the event side. And compete with others for a team rank. So again, this is the big competitive side of things where your specific team is ranked up against other people's teams. Uh, plus, make friends to increase your uh, to, to increase you and your friends' chances of an assist quest, of course. Hopefully, the assists are a lot easier to locate because I know in previous Kizuna clashes, it's it's been a little bit difficult to locate assist quests. And uh, sometimes you, you will literally go into your Kizuna and there's no assist quest ready to go when you have time to do one. It's, it's kind of a pain, so I really hope it's not that bad this time around. You'll have a 15 minute cooldown timer. Yes, okay, so previously on generic Kizunas, it's 30 minutes per assist quest. So they've halved it, which is good. Um, and then there's also pretty good rewards. Uh, I guess we'll talk about that when we get to the event site because it's, uh, it, it's pretty much what we expect. Uh, team rewards, uh, final rank rewards. Okay, the Kizuna exchange as well. So Gecko Moria, which is the new Gecko Moria, uh, limited break materials for that Gekko Moria, Jigoro of the Wind, and Inupe, which are a new character that you'll be able to get by farming this event. Uh, limit break materials for Marco and Ace, which is very big. Remember that Marco and Ace is not able to be max limit broken yet, so this is another opportunity to get his materials. Uh, Boa Hancock from the Stampede event. If you guys do not have Kizuna Boa, you can get her from the exchange, so make sure to farm uh, this event up for sure, if you, especially if you don't have that unit. Then you've got various tablets, proof of friendship, special rare recruits, and more. The second to fifth boxes of Kizuna Exchange will have two lucky treasures um, to get Ace and Marco and Zoro and Sanji Kizuna materials. Okay, that's obviously very, very important. Boss Token Quest. So this is going to be going live as soon as the treasure map concludes. There's going to be a new island on Extra Island. If you beat it, you can beat it up to 100 times. And by farming the event, you are actually farming up coins to challenge the Kizuna Clash. So this is before the Kizuna is even live, by the way. There'll be an island, you can farm it up to 100 times, you get lots and lots of tokens which you can use to challenge the Kizuna, of course. So instead of using all of your potions to, uh, to basically mass a lot of these tokens up, you'll be able to farm an island to get them, which is really, really good. And then if you use the new characters summonable in the Sugo Fest, the new Nightmare Luffy, the new Nami, and the new Brook, they'll give you two additional drops per character on your team. Um, when this eventually drops, I'll probably make a video talking about it because you could probably, I think, I think a lot of people use like a buggy team. I think you could use like buggy with a friend Luffy to get like lots of additional drops. Um, so that's something to look forward to. Recruitable characters, um, so obviously there's the new Gecko Moria, and then there's the new Jigoro, and then trusty characters that goes through a bunch of characters that are boosted for this event, lots of really, really good characters, of course, all the French anniversary characters, Shanks crew, Arlong crew, etc, are all boosted, restricted characters, obviously you can't bring any characters that do, uh, you know, the automatic defeat thing, so Shiryu, um, Doc Q, the Fortnite Doc Q, Bartholomew Kuma that have a chance to instantly KO the enemy, you cannot bring them, unfortunately, and there is the team creation right so this is the big thing i know a lot of people are trying to figure out how does team creation work so as of this video being live until august 12th at 1900 pst time you have to make your team now i believe if you are unable to make a team you will be automatically put into a team with other players it'll auto do it for you but if you want to create a team with other players that you know Make sure to get it done. Cult points uh, is for the community event to kill the Moria, so we get rewards from that, of course. So, very typical stuff. Uh, reward content distribution, so you can read that to see when the rewards are given out. But the big thing here is team creation. Obviously, this is what everyone was here for. I didn't actually realize that that post about the Kizuna stuff was so extensive. So, we click it, we go to the event site. Now, th there's something that you guys need to know about this event site. It refreshes uh, every like two to three to four minutes. It's very, very fast. So if you're on this website for too long and you like create a team or you join a team and you're on this website for too long, it will not count. So as soon as you click the link and get put into this website, you want to start either creating your team or, or joining a team. So you can see right here where it says your team, Bandai Spies, that's the name of my team, of course. Uh, you can actually see all these buttons that would be here, but because I've already joined a team, the buttons are not here for me. So what you would see, there would be a uh, create a team, join team, and then there would be auto join a team. Uh, and obviously, depending on your situation, if you've contacted a bunch of your friends, you can create a team. Once you create a team, you have to put in a name for the team, 
Then, once you put in that name, it'll give you a, an invite code. That invite code, you need to save that and be very, very cautious about that because if you lose that invite code, I don't know if there's another way to generate a new one. So basically, if you lose your invite code, you can't invite anyone to your team, which is obviously a very, very big deal. So make sure that your other friends get that invite code. And then when they go over to this website, instead of create a team, they would be joining a team and then they can put in the invite code. Of course, very, very simplistic. And then auto join a team is very self-explanatory. You're going to get auto put into a team after the end date. So this is my team right here. We've got Captain Pappy, myself, Syringe, Akainu86, Game Freak, Dilba, Rai, Zmart, Kobe, and Flamevius all in the Bandai Spies. So it's going to be interesting to see how this team plays out. I'm pretty uh, confident that this team will be able to do reasonably well in this event. Um, anyways, hopefully you guys are able to organize your teams because that's very, very important. So this is the community event right here. Defeat Moria with everyone starts on August 15th at 1900 PST time. So currently he's got the full HP at 100%, but if the community actually defeats him, we get 10 rainbow gems and a free legend ticket. So obviously this is a huge incentive to get to farming this event to get some awesome rewards, of course. Now, scrolling down a bit further, there is the Team Kizuna mission, which is, this is relating to where your team is currently ranked. So it's not based on rank one, rank two, rank three. It's actually based off a percentage. So you're either in the top 1%, you're in the top 10%, whatever it may be. So that is the whole point of this event is you wanna try and rank up as high as you possibly can, because obviously the higher you rank up, the more points you get, the better the rewards you get. Very, very simple. Now, in terms of what rewards you can actually get. So there's two different sets of rewards. There are, um, well, there's rewards by playing the event, and then obviously there's rewards based on where you rank. So if you just play the event right, these are rewards for your entire team. So if your entire team does 10 runs, you get 10 proof of friendship medals. And then after 30 runs, you'll be able to get a new unit, Jigoro of the Wind and Inupe, which is one of those new characters. After 50 clears for your entire team total, you get 15 proof of friendship and then a special rare recruit pool. 100 clears gives you those rewards, a tablet set, which is the, de the, the damage reduction ones. A rare recruit pool, three of the golden proof of friendship. Then you've got 150 clears for five of the gold medals and another rare recruit pool. 200 clears for a guaranteed support medal and a rare recruit pool. And then three of each of those cooldown uh, tablets and the crit and then enraged tablets. And then 300 clears for your entire team, which remember, there are 10 members in a team. So that means if every member does 30 runs and obviously give or take depending on what type of players you'll have. Um, 300 clears is actually not much. That's very, very easy to do. You get two gold medals, a rare recruit pool, and three of each tablet. Now, you'll be able to get all these rewards. You don't just get one of them depending on how many you did. You get every single one of these rewards, which is very good, right? But then there's also a set of rewards based on the amount of assist missions that you have. So if you just assist other people by helping them out, clearing the run for them, you will also get all of these rewards, which are essentially an exact mirror of what you guys saw of the total clears so it's again pretty easy to do you just have to play the event um and uh, 30 clears is not much for a kizuna that's very very easy as i said like you can get that done no sweat um, and then below that is relating to the ranking so as i said remember how there is two separate parts to the event the first part is the midway. So depending on where your team is ranked in the midway point, you actually get certain rewards. So you can either get five gems and the 300 tokens if you're in the top rank, which for the final set, for the second half of the event, those tokens are going to allow you to do more Kizuna runs, of course, which makes sense. So the first half doesn't matter too much, but you want to be in front at the very end because if you're in the top 10%, you get 30 gems, 1,000 tickets that you can use in the Kizuna exchange, and you get an exclusive S rank title so that's the whole point of this kizuna you get some gems and you get some tickets to ultimately get you more rewards like tablets and uh support medals and stuff like that right so that's the whole point of it and that's basically it that's all the information that this website hosts currently right now so make sure to come over to this website and remember the only applicable way that it will work for you is to come over to this uh, banner right here, the one with Kizuna Moria on it, scroll down, 
click read more it'll take you to the event site and remember if you want to be joining a team or creating a team you have to do it very very quickly upon clicking that link um because i know a lot of people have been having issues with that so you got to scroll down and then this is where my team currently is right now but for you guys who have not joined a team yet it'll say either create a team join a team or auto join a team make sure to click the right one use the right code and you'll be able to formulate your team so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today breaking down the kizuna event and hopefully what i said kind of makes some sort of sense and of course when the kizuna officially drops i'll be making videos regarding my teams in terms of a free-to-play side of things and also my personal teams uh i'm not really too sure even at this current point in time what my teams are going to be i don't even know what the boss does at this current point in time so i'll have to do a bit of research about that but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today and if you guys did enjoy it make sure you go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content that i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video